Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is winter. Basically, we just told him a hello and we are on the verge of saying him a goodbye. Then, in this meantime, while uh, we have winters, mostly we catch something which makes our nose runny. What is it? It is cold. So, in this video, we shall know about some basics of cold. Have you ever wondered that why do we get cold or why is it known as common cold and is there a permanent cure for cold? So stay tuned on this channel and you shall walk away with many facts which you didn't know about cold. Cold. They are the kid which keeps on nagging for something which it wants from us. Let us now warm it up and then know about cold. Got it, got it. Just because if we are talking about cold and we are warming it up, enough is enough. Actually, first, a fact this is the video which I have shot three times, and every time I shoot it, my memory card gets cut up. I don't know why, but I will try my best to deliver some of the uh, facts to you. First, what is cold? It is basically the infection of our throat and nose. Did you know that there are nearly 10 million cases what? per year in India where patients fall sick due to common cold? Let us know some facts about cold. It can spread easily. Every time you have a contact with some person who have a virus, you can easily catch cold. Second. It is self-diagnosable. Every time you get a runny nose, high fever, congestion, cough, you immediately know that it is cold. It is self-treatable. If you are fed up of visiting your doctor, you can take steam at home or do doctor wakes at home to cure yourself because cold is something which will recur time to time. Then. You might be asking yourself that why is cold known as common cold? See, for example, if there is something in your area uh, which is found very commonly, suppose any hotels or shawarma points, for example, then it is common. In the same way, since the nature of cold is to recur and come again and again and the virus enters again and again into our body and we have a cold, that's why uh, it is known as common cold. Did you know that our body also cannot develop a permanent resistance for cold as it is so recurrent. Have you met any person who hasn't caught cold yet? Let me meet that person because I bet uh, that kind of person uh, doesn't exist on this earth because the cold are so common. What viruses cause cold? Mainly coronaviruses and rhinoviruses are the basic types but a fact you might be shocked by this fact there are nearly 200 types of viruses which can cause you cold no wonder our nose gets so runny out of the all type of viruses rhinoviruses are responsible for 20 to 40 percent of the cold coronaviruses are responsible for the 10 to 20 percent whereas other percentages of the cold due to other viruses which involve name of some viruses such as respiratory syncytial virus also known as RSV and para influenza virus then if the damage is done how can we know that we have a cold of course you will have cough which can last for one to four days congestion runny nose flowing of, uh, of mucus from your nose or from your th throat in, in form of a cough nasal symptoms then why do we get a fever every time we have a cold that is just because see it is our body's mechanism to stabilize the body temperature every time a virus enters into our body the thermostat of our body gets unstable in order to stabilize it our body starts working up and produces WBCs. In that mean time of production of WBCs and um, fighting against such entry of viruses, we experience cold and we get a fever. 
having fever is actually good for you because uh, due to high temperature of the body the WBC production increases and bacterial reproduction decreases. What is the normal duration of cold? Mainly 1 to 4 days depending upon when you caught it. Then if the duration of the cold exceeds, what should we do? Is it cold or is it something else? I am not a doctor but I will really suggest you to visit your doctor for consultation. Then you might be asking yourself that Zeba, just you told us that a body starts producing WBCs in reaction to entry of such viruses then why doesn't it has a strong immune system to have a counter attack on such viruses at the first place it is you sweetie your body and the mechanism and your immune system are responsible it allows any virus to enter into a body or not there are some factors which are responsible which can lead the virus to easily enter into our body. First, if your immune system is weakened, if you have a poor diet or a poor nutrition, you can have a lowered immune system. Then, a less WBC count in your body can easily have less soldiers to fight and more enemies to fight with. How can we avoid it permanently or prevent it? I cannot suggest a permanent way. But I can suggest you some measures. First, every time you meet a person and shake a hand, make sure that you wash your hands. Wash your hands with soap or sanitizers. They work equally. I just went through a video which was done by ASAP Science where they compared the effectiveness of a soap and sanitizers is really nearby same. They both are able to kill germs look for this ingredient into your soaps and bactericidal soaps and sanitizers triclosan it is very helpful in killing of germs more effectively use alcohol based sanitizers every time you uh, walk out in public or return to your home from outside make sure you wash your face hand and feet because they are the body parts with are more in contact with the surrounding compared to any body, other body part of your body. Keep your surroundings clean. Keep yourself clean. Avoid getting close to people who are sick and who might have a cold. And if you have a cold, make sure you have a hanky in your hand so that you don't spread any combination of virus from that 200 uh, species to anyone else. Then why do we have a runny nose every time we have a cold? That is just because, see actually having a runny nose is very good for you. I will show you why. The mucus, there is a mucus lining in our nose. Every time we have a fever or cold, that mucus lining produces a combination of a fluid and mucus which actually helps in flushing out all the germs from our body or in our system which is actually good. So there you have it. This is all I had. I love doing this kind of videos. Uh, if you guys want me to do such kind of videos, do comment below. I love to read your comments and I reply to every one of them. Not because I am free. Because I care about you a lot. Thank you family. Thank you everyone who is watching this channel. This is my fourth attempt of recording this video. So I hope you liked this video and if you liked it, don't, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so that every time I upload a video, you get a ping. Thank you for coming here. Bye bye from Zeba.